14th of June 2022, and all eyes are glued to live coverage of a plane sat idling on the runway at Boscombe Down Military Base in Wiltshire. The Boeing 767 was scheduled to fly the first group of migrants to Kigali, the capital city of Rwanda. But as the evening drew on, it became clear that the plane and the migrants were going nowhere. Legal challenges, including one from the European Court of Human Rights, meant the small number of passengers had now been whittled down to nothing. It was an embarrassing blow for then Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his Home Secretary Priti Patel, who dreamt up the scheme to stop channel crossings. The, the legal world is very good at picking up uh, ways of, uh, of trying to stop uh, the government. Since then, flights have been on hold as legal challenges progress through the courts. But the Rwanda policy has not been shelved, with first Liz Truss. We're also taking decisive action by strengthening our borders and beefing up our border force and expanding the Rwanda scheme. Then Rishi Sunak giving the scheme their full support. We will pass new laws to stop small boats, making sure that if you come to this country illegally, you are detained and swiftly removed. On the 19th of December last year, there was some good news for the government when the High Court ruled that the plan was lawful. However, that decision was overturned six months later when appeal court judges decided there was a real risk Rwanda could send migrants back to their home countries. What the court today has found is that Rwanda is indeed not a safe country. Um, people who were seeking asylum in this country would be at real risk had they been put on a plane to Rwanda. Morning. 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 But the government has refused to scrap the policy. Priti Patel's replacement, Suella Braverman, introduced the Illegal Migration Act, making it an actual duty for the government to deport asylum seekers who enter the UK illegally. I would love to be having a, a front page of the Telegraph yeah. with a, fly, a plane taking off to Rwanda. That's my dream. Now today marks the beginning of the end of this slow legal process. A three-day Supreme Court hearing in which the government will argue only it has the expertise to determine if Rwanda is safe. Although a decision is not expected until the end of the year, Rishi Sunak has already indicated that if they win, he'll ignore any further migrant appeals and injunctions from the ECHR. All of which mean the next flight might actually leave the runway. And that is when the true test would begin. If the boats keep coming, the last three years will have been for nothing and the Rwanda policy will have turned out to be a Tory flight of fancy. Ray Addison, GB News.